What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, yeah, guy. Something, something, something. Hit the keys. Here today to do a quick review and demonstration over Flux Pro by Callum Audio. I'm not sure if you guys saw the review that I did on Flux Mini 2 just a couple weeks ago. Well, that was basically the light version of this plugin. So when you're looking at Flux Pro, it is Flux Mini 2 on steroids with a bunch of effects. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But let's go ahead and get right into this review. Some, some, some hit the key. All right guys, so when you open up the plugin, it's going to look like this. So as you can see, it looks similar to Flux Mini 2, but it's got a lot more going on. As you see here, it's got different effects that you can add. So you can add up to four different effects. Um, and you know, it's very easy to just slide these patterns into here, copy and paste. It also has different layers of modulation. So as you see here, you get three different layers of modulation and they all control differently. So you can sync the modulations however you want to, you can pan them how you want, um, you can run the amplitude how you want or the mix how you want, so on and so forth. Um, as you see here, um, it's got you know different filters, delays, width, phaser, chorus, flanger, rate modulation and ring modulation. Um, so it's got different effects that you can modulate as well. Um, so I made a little sample beat as always. Um, I use Flux Pro on a whole bunch. So I used it um, on the piano. I used it on a flute. I used it on a guitar. Um, it's not all the way mixed down as always, but let's go. All right, guys, so that's the little sample beat that I put together for you guys today. Um, so today I want to do something a little bit different than what I normally do. Normally, I would just open up the plugin for you and I would just walk through the whole plugin and show you guys all the controls and all that stuff. But I want to kind of start with what I use this Flux Pro for on this project. So you can kind of get an idea of different things that you can use it on. Um, so basically, the first thing I used it on was this piano and the piano sounded like this before I put the Flux Pro on there. So pretty basic, but once I threw the Flux Pro on there, um, it got it to sound like this. So pretty, pretty nice sound. It got it to swell down. It added a bunch of different noise, just made it sound different. Um, so I thought that that was a good touch in the beat. Um, and then the next thing that I decided to use it on um, was this guitar right here. So this is what this guitar sounds like without the Flux Pro on there. So, you know, decent sounding guitar. Uh, but now once I throw Flux Pro on there, it's going to sound like this. So you can really hear that phaser giving it that combing effect, which makes it sound like the guitar is about to take off, um, but just adds more flavor to the beat. And then this is what um, the flute sounded like before I added Flux Pro on there. Um, so it sounded like this. All 
All right, so now once I add Flux Pro on there, um, it's gonna sound like this. So just adding Flux Pro on here gave a lot of these instruments just a lot of life. Another thing that this plugin is really good for is you can put it on a drum bus and you can get your drums to sound pretty fire, you know, just make them sound different. So this is what the drums sound like by themselves. All right, so now I'm gonna throw Flux Pro on there and I'm actually gonna go through some of the presets as well so you can kind of hear some different effects that you can get, uh, different sounds that you can get on your drums. So you can get some pretty unique sounds there on your drums. The same with like an 808. So like, let's say, let's just put it on this 808 for just a moment. Um, and you can get the 808 to sound pretty cool as well. So this is what the 808 sounded like without the Flux Pro on there. All right, so now if we throw Flux Pro on there. So you can do a whole lot um, with this plugin on all kinds of different sounds. You can use it on everything from vocals to synths to guitars to pianos to so on and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and open up this second project that I have here of um, Flux Pro. Um, and so on this one, basically, I want to walk through some of the controls and some of the effects and stuff like that on just like a basic synth. So let's go ahead and this is going to open up. All right. So now the projects open up. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to start off right here with this little synth that I have. The synth is just two notes. So basically this synth is we're looking at, I think, a C and a D, right? So this is it. So this is all I picked for that pattern. It sounds like this. All right, but now with Flux Pro on there, we can just basically change the rhythm and change the whole entire groove of that synth. So this is that same exact pattern. So there is a ton of different presets that you can go through with this, but let's go ahead and get into some of the controls because I know I've been spouting on for a minute and I haven't gotten that far yet. So with this, as you're looking at it, you know, basically all you have to do in order to get to whatever effect it is that you want to use, would be just to click on it, boom, and it's gonna pop right here and it'll tell you ring modulation. Uh, make sure that the purple is on in order for it to be active. Um, and you get up to four different um, effects. So, you know, we can come over here and we can click this one since this one's not on. And you can go through all kinds of stuff from a couple of different delays, um, a couple of different filters, so on and so forth, all right? And so now what we can do is, each one of these layers right here is a layer. So as you're looking at it right here, it's telling us since we're on the pink layer, these are all the nodes. All the purple is basically um, the curve. On, then the, the dots are the destination point, if that makes sense. So if we click it to this layer right here, as you obviously will see, this is the destination point. Uh, the purple would signify the curve. Um, and so you can do that for all three different layers. So now what you can do is as you're on each different layer, so as you're looking down here at the bottom, the bottom allows you to dial in a certain amount of 
the actual effect that you are using or the modulation that you're using. So you can come to the to the right or you can come to the left. So this isn't taking it away. It's just changing the way that the effect sounds. So. <laughs> And so what's cool about this is as you go to each level, you see how it takes it away. So you can, for each level, you can add however it is that you want to sync this with your time. You have your time and you have uh, milliseconds right here. So you can sync it from up to 32 bars down to, you know, 132. Um, you have your panning, so you can pan the effect to one side. You can pan this other one to the other. You know, you have your amplitude, you have your mix right there. So that's pretty cool. What's also really nice about this plugin is with the patterns, the patterns are so easy to use. So like, let's go ahead and we're going to clear all this. All right. And so now all we have to do is take this pattern and drag it and drop it wherever we want to. Boom. Now the pattern's there. So now if I wanted to add another pattern, you know, you can stretch it over as long as you want. You can make it as small as you want. Boom. I have that other pattern, you know? And so now it's going to sound like... So that's pretty cool. You can do the same with every single layer. So, you know, you can add this here. Um, so let's go ahead and drop this here. Boom. Now, what's also cool is you can copy this pattern over. So if you like this pattern, what you can do is you can tap this button. Boom. Now it'll duplicate it. You can copy. If you hit it again, it'll duplicate what you have there. Um, and if you push this button right there, it takes it away. If you push the X button, it clears everything. So you can hear how it's obviously it's affecting the pattern. Um, so that's just very, very solid features right there. Um, and so what I want to do is I want to go through just a couple of the presets for you guys as well, just so that you guys can check out the presets um, and you can hear some of them. Um, I've gone through them for other things, so I'll just go through some maybe for the synths and some for the keys or something. Oh, and what I forgot to mention that's cool too is that you don't necessarily have to use this for like a filter effect. You know, you can use it for wherever you want. So like, as you see here, this preset doesn't even have a filter on there because obviously you have to activate the filter in order to use it. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that there is a ton of different filter types. So you're looking here, you have these kind of basic filters right here from low pass, band pass, high pass, notch, all pass, high shelf, low pass or low shelf. Um, and then you have these right here, um, which are different ladder type of um, filters. Then you also have format. So you can make it sound like a male, a female, a child, which is very fire. And then you have the link kits uh, Riley down there at the bottom. And so you see that easy, I just manipulated and changed the way that that sounds, um, you know, and you can customize it to however you want, you know, the same thing, you can come over here and it's just, it's just nice to be able to have three different layers to be able to manipulate your sound. I guess that makes sense. I just, I just think this ABC feature over here is wonderful. So. Um, that's basically the plugin for you guys. Obviously, you can do a lot more than what I showed you in the demonstration. Um, it is currently on sale for the intro price of $39.99 over at Plugin Boutique. I will leave the link below in the description. I also have to say that Callum Audio definitely has a special place in my heart, whether they know it or not. Uh, the second review I ever did on this channel was on Tape Cassette 2, which is a free plugin that they have. It's like a tape emulation plugin. Don't go watch my old review. It was terrible. It was the second one I did. Uh, but, you know, it, it's always nice when I see them drop new stuff because, um, you know, they were one of the first reviews I ever did. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button. Hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. 
Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some hit the key.